Hey guys, especially to fifth graders in in RTMS. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Ravish and this is my second story that I will be uploading today. Make sure you check out my first one. You can click the link right here. And let's start. The Chess Game by Ravish. I was just standing there, petrified when my parents were bellowing at me to get in the car. But I was too frightened to even blink. A what? A tournament in my age. I'm sure I'm going to lose. If I know that, why am I even bothering to go there in the first place? I pondered. And then the words came to me like how I got an answer for every single question that came to me. Mom, Dad, I'm not going to a tournament. Does the six-year-old deserve to lose the first thing he's ever attempted? Does a six-year-old deserve to melt his brain into nothingness? Does a six-year... I got cut off because my parents were dragging me into the car. I felt my intestines were like they're turning to jelly. When my parents threw me into the car, I felt like my arms were on fire. Ravish, the more time that you are going to ground yourself in the house, the more time you will waste trying to get better at chess. My parents snapped at me, but I stood my ground. Mom, that's no excuse to be dragging me into the car. I'm capable of getting into the car myself, thank you very much, I cried. And we were in silence for the rest of the journey. When we got to the tournament playing area, I was awestruck by the size of the room, which is able to fit 25 tables, and there was a huge screen which was displaying all sorts of things, like the people who would be playing against each other, the leaderboard, which showed who was in each group, and under nine, which is the category that I'm in, there were six people and five matches. I got this. This is about to be a piece of cake, and start your games. I was literally sweating against the person I was playing against. I won the next game. I won again. I was so chill when I finished the second game. I looked around the room. Everyone was so frustrated. I thought they would be feeling furious because they lost their game. I snickered. But I knew the third game would not be challenge would be challenging. The next game, I found out that my thoughts were right. It was I was so troubled that I wasn't able to stand correctly. My thoughts were sprinting. How can I play this guy? That was the only thing that was running on my mind. I thought about all of the people who encouraged me. My mom, my dad, even my baby brother was bawling and saying, Go! Go! I knew I would let them down. I slumped on my chair and sighed. I knew that I was going to lose. I knew that I would be right. I knew my parents would be wrong. I suddenly felt like I was in a race and lost already. I knew I would not make it higher. When I looked around, everyone was so happy about their pairing. I, f I felt like the only star in the daytime. That's when I realized a famous quote that my parents told me. Before, do your best and you will succeed. Then I realized I was worrying so much that I was sweating. I realized all of those books I've read, all of those tests I've attended, all of the things I've done in my life. I didn't give up. It all made sense now. I sat down at the table. My opponent was cracking his knuckles menacingly. I, on the other hand, was racking my brains for all the openings, all the gamuts, all the tricks that I've learned. They'll all come into play in this one game. I sat down as cool as an ice cube. My opponent smiled a wicked smile, which made me gulp down a scream. I was shaking so much that my chair was about to fall. I caught myself and sat down, worrying about every move I made. Five minutes. Eh, this game could go well. Okay, I need to focus. This is starting to slip out of my hands. My really small hands, that is. And I forced down a laugh. Fifteen minutes in, I was looking around and I saw everyone's face staring at our board. I wanted to snap, hey, get out of the way, you punks. You don't even give enough space to see the piece on the board. But all that came out was, 
Get out of the way, please. In a whisper, I got so tense because then my opponent was overpowering me and blasted my pieces off the board. I was literally on the brink of breaking down and bawling. I felt like every piece that my opponent knocked down, every beat of my heart was deaccelerating. 20 minutes in. Come on, Ravish. You are not going down in this game. Come on. Just keep pushing through. And I sighed. I knew I was going to lose. I felt like I had swallowed a brick and the brick was poisonous. But when I saw my opponent's face, he looked troubled. I saw, I am going to win. I'm going to win. I'm going to win. He made a mistake that cost him the game. Ha! I killed a beast piece, but then a brick wall hit my face. My opponent was smiling as well. Huh? When I killed his queen, the most powerful piece in the game. Why is he smiling? But when I looked at the board, a look of shock slapped on my face. He cornered me. I felt my brain overheating and I was about to explode. I looked around. Everyone had a shocked face on, but I was the only one who was smiling. Check me. Game over, said Smugly. My opponent had a look of shock and terror at the same time. Third and fourth games were nothing but a breeze. Then after the games, we were all standing, holding our breath for the third place, second place, and the crown champion of the 2016 RT Chess Championship. Third place, Manab. Second place, Pranesh. And we've all been waiting for this one moment. The first place champion of the 2016 RT Chess Championship is Ravish. I opened my eyes and I saw everyone cheering and shouting. My parents were beaming at me. My friends were jumping up and down. And I smiled. The six-year-old who everyone thought was going to lose ended up winning the game. As I got my trophy, the tournament conductor asked me, How's your first win? It was good, but next time, I'm sure that would be harder. But perseverance is with everyone, and they just have to find it. And I laughed as cameras were clicking everywhere. The end. And there you have it, fifth graders and all viewers from across the world. Thank you guys for watching my video. And comment down below what you think the life lesson is. And let's see what your guesses are. I know they're going to be right. Make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon so you get notified every time I make a new video. Thank you guys for watching and stay safe. Peace.